What's up, everybody? It's Justin here, and I just wanted to talk about uh, some news that just came out at New York Comic Con. Kind of a big deal. Uh, I've been in New York Comic Con once before. It's a fantastic place to be. I will say that I like San Diego Comic Con more than New York Comic Con, though, because there's just something about an entire city taking being taken over by a comic book convention, and that's what's really cool about San Diego. When you go to New York, it's kind of weird because you've got the convention center, which I think it's the Javits Center, and you've got a lot of people dressed up in costume and people going to uh, check out The Walking Dead and Star Trek and Star Wars and the Marvel stuff and the DC stuff and all the comic book stuff and all the rest of the TV stuff that's uh, at these Comic Cons, the, the two big ones at least. Uh, but then you've also got like the regular random folks that are just standing outside doing their regular day-to-day -day New York thing looking at you like you're an absolute weirdo and the lowest scum on earth. So it's a little bit different compared to San Diego where it's like the town embraces it and everything. In New York, it just kind of feels like this just happens to be going on right now while I'm going to my job in the morning. Uh, so it's a little bit weird, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about uh, some news that was dropped by Robert Kirkman himself at the Walking Dead New York Comic Con panel. Uh, I've got the quote right here, and I wanted to read it to you guys. Uh, Robert Kirkman said this, There is one character that is going to go from one show that I will not name to another show that I will not name. Kirkman told this to the crowd at the very beginning of the Walking Dead panel because lots of fans have been asking and been clamoring for this, and some have been groaning uh, at the mention of this, the fact that Fear the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead could potentially cross over. And it kind of seems like Robert Kirkman is sort of maybe hinted at this is actually going to happen. He did go on to say that this is a huge event in the world of The Walking Dead, and he added that the crossover is expected to occur in the next year. Now, we know Fear the Walking Dead it ends on October 15th for Season 3. The Walking Dead Season 8, yes, we're up to Season 8, it starts on October 22nd. I don't know why I somehow forgot that we're on Season 8 for at the moment. I think it's because I like to forget what happened in Season 7 because it was kind of a slog fest. So... I think this is some really cool news, and it was very interesting to me. There's there's a lot of layers to unpack here with this news, but I thought it was it was the most interesting to me that Robert Kirkman would state this at the beginning of a Walking Dead Season 8 Comic-Con panel when the news that Fear the Walking Dead was taken off of New York Comic-Con hit maybe, what, a month, maybe a month or so uh, before New York Comic-Con actually took place, which is this weekend. So I thought that was weird that they took Fear the Walking Dead away from New York Comic Con for one because they've been at New York Comic Con and The Walking Dead has been at New York Comic Con for the last couple of seasons since Fear the Walking Dead debuted, which I guess is it's probably only been there for two seasons, maybe three. I can't remember how, exactly if they came like a season prior or what. So I, I, I thought it was interesting that they would do this. Uh, maybe they're worried about cancellation uh, because Fear the Walking Dead's ratings have been kind of in the crapper lately. Uh, they've got new showrunners coming in uh, for season four. I think it's the Once Upon a Time showrunners or maybe it was some directors or writers on Once Upon a Time. So maybe this is some kind of plea in order to get some of those Walking Dead viewers to come back to Fear the Walking Dead. Because I, I've got to admit, like, Fear the Walking Dead has been, to me, in my opinion, better in Season 3 than The Walking Dead was in Season 7, but that hasn't equated to viewers coming back to the show. If anything, less viewers are watching Fear the Walking Dead, even though that it's good. It's like Season 3 started out at this X number, and now we're at, you know, the, towards the back half of Season 3, and it's just decreased and decreased each and every week, uh, which is really sad to see because the show has really, really... Uh, stood out this season and, and has been a vast improvement from what uh, we saw in seasons one and season two. So this has been a big thing for a long time now. You know, Fear the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead. Will it cross over? How the hell will it cross over? Because of the fact that there's a significant time uh, difference between The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead. Fear was supposed to show us the initial onslaught of the zombie apocalypse, whereas The Walking Dead it more or less took place, uh, it started off at least, about six to eight months after the zombie apocalypse hit. And then, you know, we've been with it for uh, seven seasons now, eight seasons uh, starting here in a couple of weeks. So that's a long 
amount of time. At the very least, let's say two to three years, which is a pretty big uh, jump to have our characters from Fear the Walking Dead time jump up to the same time period as The Walking Dead. But I still want it. I'm not one of those viewers uh, or fans of The Walking Dead that despises the thought of a Fear the Walking Dead and Walking Dead crossover. I ultimately think it would be a really cool thing. Uh, I happen to be a big fan of the CW shows, uh, and I will say that the crossover events on those shows are some of the weakest stuff from each one of those shows' seasons. I don't like them. I think they're cool uh, in concept, but their execution to me has been rather poor because... I watch all of them except for uh, Supergirl. For some reason, Supergirl and I we just don't we just don't jive. We don't mesh together for whatever reason. I want to like the show. Uh, I like Melissa Benoist quite a bit. I think she's uh, a really cool actor, and you know obviously she's really cute as well. And I like the cast on there. But for whatever reason, that show and I just haven't gelled. Uh, but like the crossovers, there's just something off about them. I've always thought they're like the weakest storylines and they just don't they haven't done a great job with the crossovers and crossovers in general they haven't been done really well you know in Hollywood or you know in TV shows and books and comics every once in a while you get a fantastic crossover but it is it is more uh, of a rare thing to get where it's a you know a solidly done crossover but I don't care I still want one and I think Fear the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead can ultimately benefit at this point by tying these two shows together because Fear the Walking Dead they never really did what I ultimately wanted them to do like to show like the the panic and desperation of of what a zombie apocalypse should ultimately feel like and I think that was my biggest disappointment when the first with the first two seasons now, I've come to uh, adjust my thinkings on Fear the Walking Dead, and you know, I, I've, I've came around to the idea that it's just the story of this family, and that's okay, it's fine. It's not what I wanted, um, but I've let that go, and it's ultimately helped me more, uh, you know, more enjoy the show here lately. So, I do think that The Walking Dead and The Fear the Walking Dead would be a really cool crossover, and what I ultimately would want it to be and I've always wanted this, is I would like it to be the Whisperer's origin story. Uh, I know some of you uh, watching this video right now, you're already groaning, you're like, I don't want that. Uh, but I, I still think it would be really cool, and I felt like Fear the Walking Dead was sort of going down that path at first with the character of Madison especially, uh, because she's done so many things where you just can't look at her as the good guy in this story. Uh, I get that she's trying to protect her kids and everything, but some of the the actions that she's taken have just been very questionable, in my opinion. Even when you compare uh, the actions that Rick takes, because that's at the end of the day, you know, Fear the Walking Dead. It's about Madison trying to protect her kids, and in The Walking Dead, it's about Rick trying to protect Carl, and you know, at one point, Laurie as well. So, I understand that. Uh, but I really wish that they would dive into this Whisper's origin story. I think it would be really cool. Uh, I honestly think Madison could be a very good alpha. Uh, and slight comic book spoilers, I guess, if you don't want to know this. like Alpha is not a character that stays around for a very long time in the world of The Walking Dead. She has this like uh, sudden dramatic entrance. She has a very impactful uh, time on the you know the walking dead comic books but then she's gone and i think that's why ultimately i i really would like to see madison come over into the walking dead universe and be alpha i think it would be great her character on fear the walking dead is at her best when she's doing these like despicable acts or uh doing acts that you know are, are more or less uh not what we would expect our heroes to do and i think that's when she's at her best and you know and she's cold uh which the character of alpha is in the comic books uh she's somewhat unrelatable which i think also the character of alpha is from the comic books uh and i i think you know with the shaved head she could look uh, very similar to the character uh, of alpha from the comic books. so that's what i ultimately would want this to be i would love it if Robert Kirkman would do that, but that's not what I think is going to happen. What I ultimately think is going to happen from this is that we're going to get either a side character 
uh, from Fear the Walking Dead that's going to make their way in the walk into the Walking Dead world, or what I ultimately hope would happen, because I don't think they're going to do the origin story of the Whispers. I just don't see them doing that. Uh, it would be tough to do because they would, probably should have started planting a little bit more of those seeds in Fear the Walking Dead Season 3, and I don't think that they've been doing that lately. Uh, you know, seeing as season seven or season eight of The Walking Dead is going to be uh, the finale of All Out War, and then we're going to make our way into the you know the whispers and everything. Uh, I think in the back half of season eight, so it'd be really tough to do that. I don't think that could happen because at the very least we got eight episodes of The Walking Dead in 2017, and then we got the additional eight episodes in 2018. And Robert Kirkman said that he expects this to occur in the next year. Maybe he's talking about because Fear the Walking Dead Season 4 will be back. I'm not really sure. So I think it'll just be something like that. Where we're going to get like maybe a, a, a more of a minor character on, on The Walking Dead or Fear the Walking Dead kind of meeting up with one another. Like maybe a Luciana or something like that. Uh, an Ophelia. God forbid we may get a Tobias sighting. <laughs> you know, maybe Tobias will show back up. Uh, or another character that they could bring back. Uh, from the Walking Dead universe, the the character that was lost forever and that fans have been wondering where the hell is this character, uh, and that's Morales. So maybe we get a Morales uh, story woven in uh, with maybe Madison or something because we do know that Morales left off uh, in The Walking Dead and said that he was going to uh, go be with family in Birmingham. And I believe Madison's from Montgomery, Alabama or something like that. Uh, so maybe we get some kind of flashback uh, with those two interacting. I hope it's not that. I hope it's something meaningful. Uh, and I think that if it if it's not going to be the Whisperer's origin story, what I would also like the most is to see maybe Abraham or Eugene make their way over to the world of Fear the Walking Dead. And I honestly think Abraham would be the perfect choice because, one, He's not on the show any longer for The Walking Dead, so they don't have to worry about uh, you know film overlapping and uh, him needing to work on The Walking Dead, but they need him from the Fear of the Walking Dead for certain scenes. So I don't see that as the case. That that wouldn't be an issue because he's he's dead. Negan, he was a bastard and he killed Abraham. So I could see something where you know he was in Houston, Texas. That's where he first met Eugene, and. I could see maybe earlier on, you know, in that in that time period uh, between the start of Fear and where you know where we're currently, uh, well, basically up to where Abraham meets Eugene. Maybe Abraham runs into some of the characters from Fear the Walking Dead. I think that that would be the ultimately awesome way to do a crossover between these shows, and I think it would make the fans happy. Uh, I think that it would draw some more interest for Fear of the Walking Dead. Maybe Abraham could stick around for an episode or two on Fear of the Walking Dead, which would be amazing. You think back uh, to the Telltale Walking Dead game where Glenn, he came in during season one of Telltale's uh, The Walking Dead, and it was awesome. And, and, you know, he didn't stick around for a whole long time. He was kind of in. You know, you got to do a couple of different uh, scenarios and situations that took place with Glenn uh, helping you out. And then his character was gone. But it was so enjoyable. And it was such a you know awesome surprise to find Glenn in the world of Telltale's Walking Dead. It would be the same thing to me to see Abraham within Fear of the Walking Dead. I just think that would be so freaking cool. Uh, it would be the perfect way to cross these two shows over without being uh, too forced and, in my opinion, maybe not able to work it out. Because ultimately, I just don't know, even though I want it with the Whisperer's origin story, I just don't know how well they could pull that off. And I really want them to pull the Whisperers off in the best possible way. And I've, I haven't seen a crossover event be done well enough to convince myself that they could pull off transferring, you know, uh, Madison and, you know, Alicia or whoever from Fear over to The Walking Dead as the Whisper storyline. So even though, like, I want it, I just don't think it could be pulled off. So I think that this could be the, the best way to do it. Bring Abraham into the Fear of the Walking Dead universe. I think this is really cool news. I really liked seeing this out of New York Comic Con. To be honest, this was the most exciting news for me. Uh, I, I'm I'm going into The Walking Dead season eight very cautiously. 
I'm, I'm optimistic, but I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, I've been kind of avoiding all of the trailers since they debuted the, the big trailer at San Diego Comic-Con. I've been watching a lot of them because I want to go into it with a, a nice, fresh perspective uh, and just just kind of washing myself of, of The Walking Dead Season 7. Uh, so I'm hoping that they, they bring it in Season 8, that it's great, and... I was really excited about this news, so I wanted to talk about it with you guys. This is a really like rambly ass video. Haven't really done one of these in a long time, <laughs> so uh, I just kind of wanted to discuss it with you guys. See what you all think. Uh, what do you think that this could ultimately be? Do you want this Fear the Walking Dead and Walking Dead crossover? Do you want the worlds to collide, uh, as AMC is already like promoting the hell out of at this point? Uh, I do think that it will help. Fear the Walking Dead get a little bit of a ratings bump. Uh, I think I think more eyes will be watching the show towards the end of season three, and I hopefully they'll see that hey, holy shit, Fear the Walking Dead gotten a little bit better. Maybe I should you know hop back on the Fear the Walking Dead train for season four, uh, and and get some more uh, ratings for the show. So that way the budget will not go down because AMC is already cheap enough as it is with their shows. Uh, and Fear the Walking Dead Season 4 can continue to get better. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Would you like to see uh, Abraham in the universe of Fear the Walking Dead, or is there another character or another way that you would like to see this crossover go down? Let me know all those thoughts in the comment box down below. I'll be posting my uh, Fear the Walking Dead Season 3 Episode 14 review. Uh, I think that whenever, tomorrow, Monday, Monday or Tuesday is when I'll post it and put it up and everything. Uh, I will be a little bit late for the review for the uh, season three finale because I'll be out of town that weekend and I won't get back till like later in the week, but I'll get it posted then. So I hope you guys enjoy Fear uh, this week and let me know what you guys think about all this Walking Dead news. So bye-bye for now.